Hi there, it's Michael from Overland Bound, and we are between trips right now. Everything's looking pretty darn clean. And you guys have heard me talk uh, in videos, or maybe you've seen some of my articles about being able to get out of town within 20 minutes. Now, that's really important, because if you can just leave at the drop of a hat, you're gonna do it way more often. If it takes you six hours to make sure you have everything you need, well, that's quite a barrier. You might not do it as often. After all, this is all about getting outside and exploring. So what I thought I'd do today is show you some of the equipment that I bring on every trip really, really quickly. And then I'm gonna consolidate it like it's packed at the house and show you how you get out of here uh, inside of 20 minutes. Let's do it. All right, now let's take a look at some of the gear. I'm not gonna focus on the truck. You guys have seen plenty about the truck. Let's take a look at this other stuff. Now, really simple kitchen. I'm not promoting any of this stuff. I don't get any kickbacks from REI or anything like that. So any of the gear I'm showing you is just stuff that I choose to use. Now these tables and chairs, this stuff can be found at REI. You want to have as many surfaces as possible on a, even a quick camp trip because when you start cooking, you want plenty of things to set stuff on. I usually bring two coolers if I'm doing anything uh, more than an overnighter because I like to bring beer with me and beer takes a big cooler. <laughs> Coleman stove, classic. Uh, this thing has been reliable for, oh, probably about 50 years. Coleman lantern. Um, this is about a $100 camp kitchen unit, REI chairs. I keep everything packed uh, like this when it's at the house, right? So I know where all my sleeping gear is. This is for GoPro camera equipment. I've got all my recovery gear. There's the worn winch hardware. It's got gloves in there, a tree strap, a chain. This is a survival kit. So that's two person for, I believe, three days in case anything gets anything happens or you get stuck out there. Um, this is a compressor. So if I air down my tires and I don't have uh, station gas, I can air my tires back up. Basic tools and then other um, hardware for the truck. And that's a very complete first aid kit. Now these three cases I've talked about a lot. These are Plano cases. This is key to getting out of town in 20 minutes, all right? Uh, I have this divided up into um, tables and chairs, dry goods. This is food. Uh, basically, I can just throw this food case on the truck and drive out of town, right? It's got canned goods in there and dry goods, so I'll survive when I'm out in the wilderness without having to have refrigerated goods. And then the third one is just the kitchen supplies. I've got a lot of it out there. Now, if you want to know exactly the contents of these cases, you can go to overlandbound.com and I've got a list. The, the uh, somewhat waterproof duffel bag is for my clothing. Um, bring chairs, especially if you're bringing, uh, bringing friends. I really like this four person tent because it goes up very, very quickly. I can have this tent up in between seven, seven to 10 minutes uh, and it's very lightweight. And let's see what else we got. I think that is about it for the camping hardware. This is basically all you need. You know, if you're going camping in the summertime, don't worry too much about what you pack in terms of clothes. Do you need three pairs of socks and do you need to dress in layers? If the climate is moderate, you don't really need anything. It, it drives Mrs. Overland bound nuts when I leave and I've got just my, my sandals, my pants and a t-shirt and I don't even have any underwear. I just leave and I go out of town. Don't worry about it. Get outside and as long as you have planned to have your gear and it's already organized, all you got to do is load up and get out of town. So pre-prep, organize your stuff and you'll be going outside a lot more often. All right, let's see how we load this thing. All right, now this is what we look like when we're packed uh, in the house. Of course, it's stowed away in storage cabinets and things like that, but you can see everything's kind of packed tight and ready to be loaded into the truck. Now, this is how I roll uh, when I'm not on a trip. Everything's already set to go, so at any time, I can get out of town in less than 20 minutes. All right, so let's see how this goes.
All right, so there it was. That was about a 10 minute pack job and I even had to replace one of the ratcheting brackets on my strap up top because my old one uh, has seen better days and so I wanted to replace that so it took me a little bit longer than I expected but even so that was 10 minutes. Now I had everything right here add another five minutes for going back and forth uh, in the house but you can see it is possible to load the rig up and be ready to go in just a short amount of time. Now I'm going to head on down to the store where I go in on a trip right now and fill up those coolers so there's another stop before I actually hit the trail but once I'm in a store filling up coolers, I already feel like I'm on vacation, so it hardly even counts. All right, until next time, see ya.